Hey guys, I want to tell you about something that happened to me. Uh, I was battling the doubtful spirit. This has been about a week ago. Um, and so this doubtful spirit, I know a lot of you are aware of it, but some of you may not be. It's um, a way pretty much of the enemy to try and de um, deceive God's people and try and knock us down. Well, during this time, I it was saying... Um, it was saying a lot of hateful things and trying to bring up um, a lot of past and things that I've already dealt with that, that me and the Lord are we're okay on. Uh, so I know it's a spirit of doubt. Anyways, I was crying, you know, I'm to the point where I've, I've had enough of hearing all of this, these lies and everything. And through all of this, you know, I'm crying and I'm sobbing just on the bed, you know, really <laughs> at, at the end of whatever I was just I was so tired I was so tired um, and I heard the Lord tell me he said because I was like sorry Lord you know I failed you I failed you he said um, you cannot fail me I have built up your heart and you know and just when he said that I was like thank you Jesus you know you're I know you're with me right now um, so then it lifted my spirit and then he spoke to me again um, because the doubtful spirit just it would not give up it would it just would not go away it doesn't matter what I was saying or what it just wouldn't go away and then I heard the Lord say you are rooted so far in my hand nothing can separate you from me nothing can take you out of my hand so that automatically I mean that made me feel really good um, and I believe that's what made the doubtful spirit leave um, because I fell asleep and had a good sleep, you know, good rest that I had been needing for several nights um, because the spirit kept me up uh, a lot. Uh, okay, so anyways, and then like the next day, um, I was, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was fasting and I was praying in the spirit. I felt the Lord really um, just calling me, so I just started praying in, in the spirit. And he showed me a vision of, um, let me explain this. It was a big ship, but that's not the main the main focus here. It, what the focus is, is on the net. And it was a huge net that was thrown into the ocean. Um, and it was full of fish. And these fish, you know, I mean, they were little. They weren't like huge fish or anything. But there were, like, there were a lot. I mean, it was full. And there was this, this bottom... At the, at the very bottom of the net, there's this fish, and it's trying to wiggle, and it's trying to get out. Well, I felt like um, maybe this vision was God's way of telling me, you know, to not give up on him and just, you know, to stay going into prayer with him and just really to spend time with him and to fast and to not give up, and just to, to stay in prayer and stay in as close to him as I can. So I honestly pictured me as that little fish um, because it was it I could sense that it was afraid I could sense that it was um, trying to wiggle out of the net at the same time it didn't want to leave the net because the ocean was so huge and empty but it was almost like because all these fish are like laying on top of each other and I, you guys don't know this about me but maybe this has something I don't know I'm just getting this now but I've always had this um, this weird sense of when someone hugs me, it's, you know, they can hug me for about two or three seconds and then I feel uncomfortable. Like, then I'm like, okay, okay, you can let go now. It's it's just, I've always been like that. Um, I, I really don't understand why. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting a lot better <laughs> at it. Um, my sister, my twin sister, she's she hugs me really tight. So she... Uh, She's training me. She's <laughs> she's breaking me of that. Um, anyways, to get back to my vision. So then after that, I knew that the Lord was the one holding the net. Um, and I take it that we were his fish. <laughs> uh, okay, so then I saw this vision right after that. It was rage of rushing waters um, like a um, river. And it, it was... It was uh, very calm at first, and we're just floating along. And what I pictured was was uh, God was the raft. But, you know, 
it really wasn't even like he was touching the raft. It was like he was almost, or the water, he was almost floating above the water. But he had me, like I was sitting, like maybe it was his hand. I don't know. Um, I can't explain it. I'm trying to explain this. Okay. Um, and then, so it's it's really calm, and then it starts to get really, really rough, like really fast. And then all these big boulders and rocks are in the way, and I could sense my spirit feeling a little an anticipation, like, whoa, what's going on? You know, I don't know what's ahead. Just kind of worried about the things that are not, you know, that we can't see that are ahead of us. And I felt like the Lord told me, you know, you trust me when times are calm. It's time to trust me when times get hard. And it's time to trust me um, in the times that are coming. And I really felt like this, what he was also saying was this is for America. Um, and not just America, but, but the world. Um, he wants his people to trust him, to constantly go to him in prayer. Not just in the calm times, but in, in the times where usually you would freak out and, you know, lose a temp your temper or throw a fit, you know, and just want to give up. He wants to, us to go to him in those times. And um, so I felt this uh, this peace came over me knowing that, you know, maybe we don't know what's ahead, but we're floating on God like a raft down this river, and he's not going to let us hit the boulders. He told me he's going to dodge them. And so I, that gave me a sense of security and, and safety. And I really wanted to share this with you guys because maybe a lot of you are feeling like um, you're getting attacked. Maybe you're you're having doubt. You know, maybe you feel like you just need to step out and give up for a while. Now's not the time to give up, guys. Okay, God wants us to go to Him now. Now's the time to be in prayer and be in fast. And now is the time where we really need to depend on God because, um, you know... <laughs> I'm going to get into this in another video, but anyways, that was my vision, and now is the time to cling to the, cling, just cling to God, and, and don't worry about nothing, he's going to take care of everything, he's got your back, he's, he's got your back, he's not going to let go of you, you're not going to drown, you're not, he loves you, he's not going to let you go, okay, so lift yourself up, and, and go and pray and talk to him, and Listen to what he has to say because he is going to take you through the rough waters. Put your trust in God, guys. Okay, love you.